I would like to use this recording to show you how to make auxiliary views and special sectional views in Fusion 360. This of course is in a drawing environment. Let's start with the auxiliary view. This component has three holes on an angle side. We need an auxiliary view to properly dimension and define these holes. To do this we use the section view command. Click on that then select the view you want to come off of. I'm going to zoom up a little bit and hover over this corner. See the green square. Do not click. But move your cursor out until you see a little green line, a little dashed line starting. Pick to where you want the view arrow. Then come to the other one and hover. Do not click. Go along the dashed line until you get to a proper position for this arrow. Pick. Now you've finished your view, hit right click and hit continue to place the view. Say OK. Now that truly is a section view. We're going to change it to a auxiliary view in just a second. First I'm going to move the section node out of the way by clicking on the square and dragging it off. Now to, to move this to a auxiliary view we simply click on the section arrow and look closely for the little bar right in the center, little gray bar. Left click on that and drag it out. You can drag it anywhere you want. Notice it stays parallel to that edge. And then click to place it. You now have a true auxiliary view. So the section view is not named correctly. Let's double click on it and change it to the proper name. So there we have UAA, which is now an auxiliary view. On occasion, you may want to relocate the auxiliary view. To do that with any view, including projected views, you can just simply pick in the view, click on the little square, and notice you move it only in line at this point, but if you move out, you'll see a note come up. and It says, press shift to toggle view alignment. So if you just tap the shift key, you can move it anywhere in the drawing you like. Now, if you wanted to move a projected view, the same thing applies. Notice you can only drag it in orthographic form unless you tap the shift key and you can move it someplace else. I'm going to undo that one. Please notice that the view marker is related to the view. So if you move the view, the, mark, the note goes along with it. But it is truly independent and can be moved by simply clicking on the little square and dragging it in independently. Let's move on to a special sectional view. We have a round object with two counterboard holes in it at angles to the center of the part. I would like to make a section going through each hole in the center. So let's follow the same method we did before. Pick on the section command, pick in the view, then I hover over the outside circle. I see the green dot, green circle in the center. Hover over that, do not click, and then come over and hover over the other circle and continue moving. You'll see the green dotted line. When you get to the right position, click. Then click on the center circle, and then hover again. Do not pick it. Continue along the dotted line. Pick. Right click. Continue. And place your sectional view. Now same as before, if you find the sectional view needs to be moved to another part of the drawing, you can simply click on it. Click the gray square. Notice it stays in line with the section until you tap the shift key and then you can move it anywhere in the drawing you want. In this sectional view, you'll notice that the cross hatching is not real distinct because it came off at an angle. So just simply double click on the hatch and change the angle to something else. I will use 45 and it looks much better. Upon occasion, you may want to rotate this view for easier dimensioning. So what you can do is this. It's called reference rotate. This view is in line with this sectional line right there. 
So I simply pick in the view, right click and say modify, rotate, pick a base point for the rotation. I'm going to pick this corner. Now look up here, you can pick reference. So select that and come over here and pick on this point and this point, and that gives a reference. So now you can show it zero just by simply coming straight out and you have a perfectly aligned object. Say OK, then pick it and move it back into position. Let's do the same rotation of you in the other drawing. Again, you're using a reference angle right there. So pick in the view, right click and say modify, rotate, pick in the view, and then pick the translate and pick on that corner or any corner you desire as a rotational point. Now again, select the reference button and pick these two points. One, two. Then when you move your cursor down and show the green horizontal line, it'll be perfectly aligned. Say OK, then move the view back into position. I hope these two tips help you in making auxiliary views and better section views. Thank you.